All right, so one area where I'm nervous heading into YouTube Golf Day is the short game specifically chipping around the greens. Good news is we ran into Andy from Me and My Golf at breakfast and he says in his words, he'll get me sorted. So I'm headed down there and have Andy get me sorted. Tighten up that short game, man. Let's get this. I, where I should be getting up and down often, at the, at the very least, two putt. Yeah. I'm, I'm not giving myself those opportunities because I'm leaving it way far away. I just feel like I don't have any feel. I don't have the okay. touch. So, is the is the con, so when you, is the strike an issue? So, are you struggling with connection, consistency of the connection? Yes, so I started experimenting. I'm like, well, all right, do I go with a higher loft? And I'm chipping with my 56, and I'm thinking, well, that'll give me, I can get it up and, and land a little bit softer but then I'm leaving things short, so then I start experimenting. Do I chip with my seven iron? Yeah. And then it start going down that path where it's just no turning back. I don't know, I don't know what to do, I get baffled. So. It's good you didn't keep it as simple, that's what I like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's just do a couple to like these two flags and um, pick a, a simple club that you would, let's say, hit from these two. Okay, we'll go to this first one, actually, this short one. What would you hit from this one? I would normally hit this, what I was working with was this 56, so. So you got 56 there, yeah? I got a 56. Let's do, let's go the short one here. Sure. So there's an example of leaving it a little short, yeah? Exactly, yeah. What are you thinking about? What are you trying to do? What I'm trying to do is land it um, about halfway and let it roll. Okay. And that's where I feel like my accuracy is, is lacking, is, is landing it, where it lands. So sometimes, as you'll see, I'll come up way short and there's no rollout. Other times I'm landing it too far and it's rolling well past the, the pin. Yeah. So like getting my landing zone accuracy is, is where I'm struggling. And that's where I started to go with less loft because then I thought, well, I'll get it on the ground quicker. Yeah. You know? And yeah, that makes sense. But, and what are you trying to do technically wise? Uh, I'm what just do you trying think about? to keep my, my weight forward. I'm leaning the shaft forward a little bit and I'm just trying to focus on a smooth staying through it because like I said, my biggest problem is the deceleration. Okay, let's do a couple more to that one. We're going to stick with the 56, especially for today, because for today, you, you right. can be more comfortable with that. And if we can just change your technique, I think that technique will work on everything. And then it's up to you to get used to them, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So one of the things that you do is we set up quite a long way left. So shoulders, feet, even the club face is left. And a lot of the shots that you missed were left. The left, yeah, everything was left. So what happens if you come stand behind us a second here? You get told, a lot of people tell you you've got to be open with, with chip shots, yeah? Problem is if you're open, if the shoulders are open, the club wants to swing in that direction. Yeah. Now we don't, we don't want the club to swing on a path to the left. So what I like to see, I don't mind the feet open, but I want the shoulders, the club face square. So I want my shoulders, forearms, and club face square still. Yeah, because yeah. Then, my, then I can now swing on a good path, like everything else. If I, if I go like this, my path looks to be too much to the left. So what happens there is I swing back, and then I almost have to reroute the club to try and go down the target line. Yeah. Everything's left. You see feet, knees, hips, shoulders, everything's left. Mm -hmm. So your club goes back here. And then what happens now, if you swing through normally, if you do a good job on the way through, it's gonna go that way. Mm. So you have to almost stall the club yeah, head now on. wants to drop. So the club head just wants to drop down, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So as it's dropping down now, it hits the ground first, but look where it hits the, it hits the toe as well. Mm -hmm. And then, this is the thing, watch this, the club, watch the, see how the club chases the ball? Yes. So you see how the club follows, pretty much follows where the ball's going. Mm -hmm. Now I actually want the club to move in more left through the golf ball. Yours is going towards the target. So an exaggeration of this is, it sort of goes, you're aiming left, you swing back, we then draw, 
and then we try and then follow it this way. Whereas what I'd like to see is more neutral. Swing it back more neutral. And notice how, notice how my club on the way through yeah. works a little more inward. Mm -hmm. For sure. So I, I actually think the, the main thing that we do is we just square you up. If we square you up, your body then can actually start to move inward. Everything that you do is just because you're aiming left, and I think that's what, that's the reason why you're struggling. Just because of your aim, which sounds really simple. Yeah. If we change your aim, we change the the compensation, which is this for you. And that's where the club bottoms out instead of getting through it. So when you double hit the ball, yeah, the club and the ball are going the same direction, which yeah. is we just do not want that. <laughs> the ball should be going that way. The club should be going this way. Does that make sense? Yeah, it, does. Hit, yeah? it does. So the reason, like I said there, you aim left, you reroute it, club, the club follows the ball, and that's where the double hit comes from. Whereas if we aim square, we can then start to turn the chest through. The club works a little bit more this way, yep. and the ball's already gone then, and that's when your strike gets better, because you're turning your chest now this way, and you're not hitting the ground. And now we're not missing it left. Right. That's, that's, that's all that you need to do. See the ball not missed to the left. There it is. Fixed? Getting there. Chip like that, I'll do it well today. <laughs> the interesting thing about this is, and this is what most people do as well, because they're thinking so much about, you may mention it, I think I'm decelerating, I'm trying this, I'm trying that. But actually, the, it, everything is just stemmed around where you were starting. So everything was a compensation for where the face and the body was aiming. So you can't change, without changing that first, mm -hmm. everything else is sort of very difficult to change. To, and especially in a short game shot, in a full swing, you can aim left and you can, yeah. you've can got time to change things. But if you're swinging the club back this far, right. you haven't got the, the time and the, 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 the room to change things, so we've got to keep it as, I suppose as neutral as you can because it's such a short movement really. Yeah. It's funny because I, I get so obsessed with like set up for for my full swing. Yeah. And you don't you think it's such a small swing. I hadn't even really thought about the setup. Yeah. And we get told, you know, okay you gotta open the feet and yeah. stand open to it, but I think ultimately shoulders square, arms square, club face square, the hips can be a little open, the feet that's fine. But really we want that club swinging on a good pass to on your practice swings today on the course, I want you to really feel as if you can brush the ground and get that club working in a little more left. Great, a little too much lock. Okay, good. Now notice how you come out a little lower. Yeah. Dude, how are you feeling about this? Feeling good. Yeah, really? Yeah. You feel the changes, right? Quick. Oh, no doubt. Okay, good. A little behind it, a little behind it there. Yeah. Let's go with those practice swings. Practice swings are crucial because I want to see, so that you're addressing here, I want you to get the confidence that you're going to strike the ground, it's going to sort of brush in this area, and then the club's going to move left. Nice. Okay, good. So still okay with that one, little ground first. But because we're now shifting your focus on doing this, the ball's still going to roll out. Right. There you go. Can I hold it there? Nice! <laughs> guy's getting good. Got a little more confidence today, or at least, yeah, confidence because I, now I know what the right thing to do is. Right. Rather than, as you said, guessing. I, I was changing my my technique and the club and everything, just guess, guess, guess. So now that I know what it is, just putting the work in and and gro grooving that swing, develop that feel too. Right. Yeah, that's it.